In this lesson, we're going to focus on using some relationship, either a word relation or a calculation, to come up with a table of values and then to graph these and find the pattern on the graph. So <clears throat> we're going to be doing them on the, we're going to use a relationship express, expressed in an equation and come up with a table, which then gives us the geometric or graphical uh, interpretation of this relationship. So here's our relationship. This person is getting paid $7 an hour. So we multiply that by the number of hours worked, which gives us the total pay. So relationship is the hours worked and the total pay. So let's establish what our dependent and independent variables are. Our hours worked should be our independent variable. Okay, that's our input. And then our output is going to be the total pay. So that's our dependent variable. Okay, our total pay ends up in a dependent variable. That means our total pay should end up along being graphed vertically, and the hours work should be graphed horizontally. Okay, so let's use our relationship here to calculate the total pay to get our our connect our domain with our range, or our input with our output. So four hours times seven dollars an hour gives us a total pay of twenty-eight dollars. So when I graph that, it's going to be four and twenty-eight, maybe somewhere about there. Twelve hours times seven dollars an hour. That's going to give us eighty-four dollars of total pay. So twelve dollars. We're going to get about up here for our total pay. 18 hours times seven dollars an hour well 10 times 7 is 70 8 times 7 is 56 so adding those together i get 200 126 dollars of total pay so at 18 hours okay 125 it looks like it's going to be 150 is about here so 125 is right about there okay and at this point i can kind of see that these these dots seem to be lining up so it looks like there's a straight line pattern here and one thing that does characterize these straight line patterns is this con constant multiplier or constant rate often implies a linear relationship. So continuing on here, 25 hours times $7 an hour. Okay, it looks like that's going to be $175. Okay, so at 25 hours, I'm going to go all the way up to $175. Again, it seems to fit our pattern. 30 hours worked, we're going to end up with $210. Okay, so 210 is maybe right about there. And again, it looks like our our pattern is, looks like it's about right. because It's a straight line. And I would assume maybe that if I don't work any money, any hours, I get zero pay. So it looks like it's probably going to go through zero. So there's my pattern. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the dots. I'm using the coordinates of our input and output to establish the relationship, which is a line. Okay? So that looks about right. And again, I think I mentioned in the another video that these straight lines seem to kind of go up in steps. Okay? And these steps seem to have kind of a ratio. So here I gained six hours. I gained $42.00. Okay, six hours, another $42 or so. Okay, so it looks like we have this constant or ratio of change, okay, which is gives us is shown in these steps. If these steps are the same for every along that line, we know that that line goes up in a straight line or a constant slope. And this rate of change, $42 for every six hours, seems to have something to do with that seven dollars an hour in fact that is my looks like that's my unit rate for the change that i see on the table okay the ratios can be simplified into unit rates and that seems to be the unit rate there so let's put this into function notation our input independent variable is our hours worked and the output is our dependent variable so in function notation my output should be my total pay 
my input is x, so I'm going to write it as f of x, and it's going to be 7 times the number of hours worked gives us our output. So that looks like that is going to be our equation. In fact, we can kind of see that if we just switch this with y and x, yeah, that's y equals 7 times x. Okay, and again, I'm just going to highlight here. That's our output. f of x is our output. Okay, x is our input.